Hey guys, how are you? I'm the developer of quiz movies and series and as I told you in my previous video where I explained you 7 tips uh, to increase the amount of downloads of your app or mobile game on the Google Play Store um, If you want to see that video, it's up here in the upper right corner um, Go ahead and watch it I have been receiving a lot of comments and mails about people saying that the tips in, of that video are working for them that the downloads are increasing so if you want to increase your downloads, I would really recommend you to go ahead and watch it. Uh, those downloads, those tips has helped me a lot. I, I got like 150,000 downloads. Um, so yeah, go ahead and watch it. I'm sure it is going to um, to help you a lot. Um, and that video I told you that I was going to make a video about App Store optimization, uh, ASO. And uh, yeah, this is that video. Uh, basically in this video I'm going to explain you five steps to increase your app downloads using App Store optimization, like the steps that you have to follow to, to apply App Store optimization to your game or app. Um, what is um, App Store optimization? App Store optimization is generally abbreviated with ASO, um, and it's basically making your app or game store listing attractive for users attractive and easily to find for users um, basically ASO uh, helps you to find organic users organic downloads and those are the best downloads why? because organic users, organic downloads uh, are those people that are searching for your game are those people that are searching for something similar to your game similar to, you, to your app and once they find your app they say oh this is what I'm looking for, I'm going to download this, I'm going to play or I'm going to use this I'm going to purchase some things inside the game or app so basically organic downloads are those that get the best conversion rates, the best uh, retention rates um, are, those are the users, users that we are looking for Okay. Um, why should trust me? Uh, basically, as I told you, I am the developer of Quiz Movies and Series, which is a mobile game on the Google Play Store. I have got more than 150,000 downloads. You can go ahead my, and watch my video about those seven tips. Um, but also, this game has made me more than 2,000 downloads. No, sorry. This game has made me <laughs> more than $2,000. Uh, you can go ahead and watch that video about my mobile game revenue. Yeah, it's up here in the upright corner too. Um, and yeah, so those are my statistics. Those are the things that I have done with thanks to App Store optimization. Um, if you want, you can try these steps that I am going to explain to you. Um, they are all free. You don't have to pay anything or do anything like... Uh, it's, it's, this is not a trap <laughs> you can go ahead and try them if they don't work for you you can go back to whatever you were using to increase the amount of downloads that you have but as I told you these steps have helped me a lot um, I would really recommend you to at least try them okay so let's start uh, the first step is your keyword search do a really 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 good keyword search keyword search is basically the words that you're going to put on your app title on your app or game sh short description and long description basically these things are the, the, this long description title short description um, is, the, is the things that are going to make your your app easily to find you know when you search something in Google Play Store like for example uh, zombies game uh, game sorry games about zombies or something like that um, when you search it uh, Google Play Store is going to search um, those apps that have those keywords and, 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 and show you the best apps that, are, that have those things um, so yeah you will, you will want to use the words that have a lot of volume search and less competition um, personally I don't think that the competition really matters uh, I have added words that has a lot of volume search and a lot of competition on the title and in the short description and that has gotten a lot of, a lot of downloads so, so go ahead and use words that are really 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 competitive and a lot of volume on those parts on the short description and on the title but in your long description I have seen that words that are that has less volume search and a lot of less um, 
competition others are better yeah so go ahead and search for those words for those words and add on the long description um, if you can find words that has a lot of volume search and very 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 few competition don't let those words escape <laughs> use those words um, in your long description in your short description and in your title um, and yeah, uh, how I find those words, I basically use Google Trends. Um, you can go ahead, put Google Trends and search where and click your words, the ideas that you have. Uh, basically, what I do always is go to Google Trends and then I start to uh, see how many volume search has uh, words that I will think that people will use to find my app. <laughs> For example, if I'm making an app about zombies, I will say, uh, games about zombies, games about shooting zombies, um, uh, zombies, uh, no, 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 not like that, um, other thing, uh, what, what can I say, um, uh, radioactive zombies, for example, <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and put those words on Google search, um, and see if they are, have a lot of volume search, and if they have, Use it in your titles, your description, and on description. Okay, step number two: create an attractive app icon. How you create an attractive app icon? Do whatever mm, that make you stand to from from other apps. Uh, what does this mean? If all the apps that are your competition are using yellow images, use a um, uh, a red image. If all the apps are putting text in their app icons, don't put up uh, texts. Um, do everything else that people are not doing in their app icon that's going to make your app icon stand from the other ones and gonna make you and it's going to increase the lot it's going to drive more people to your app store listing why because app icon is the first thing that people see when they search for something for some app or mobile game so if you do an attractive one one that catches the 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 view of the users uh, it's going to increase the amount of the lost of your of your app icon so of your app sorry or, or mobile game so go ahead do that I would recommend you to read things about what colors are more attractive what uh, patterns are more attractive for people that's and, and use them in your apps but the general rule is do everything else that um, do everything that the competition is not doing okay uh, in your app icon okay step number three is your app screenshots um, you should make app screenshots that help the user or the people that is in your app store listing or mobile game listing store uh, easy make, make easy the decision of your of your of, of the people like if make easy the decision the decision of of, of 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 like if they want to download or not like when they go ahead and enter to your app store listing they go the first thing that they are thinking mm, unconsciously is should I download this or not um, you want you want to com convince them that they want and how you do that do a screenshot that tell your game tell the, the people what is your game about summarize it make it easy for them to understand and uh, stand the points that are more interesting for them so for example in my guess the movie game I stand out uh, for example the amount of levels the amount of movies that it has the options that it has you know, like the things that other games doesn't have um, and I also put uh, movies and series that are very famous because they say oh I, I know this guy for example the guy from Narcos I, I know this guy let's go uh, I want to download this. <laughs> yeah, so basically make it easy for them to, to understand what is your app about and so they can download it. So they so 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 they they unconsciously say, okay, yes, I'm going to download this. Okay, step number four is very similar to step number three. Uh, is basically doing a short ad video because you can you can add a, a video to your app store listing and videos have increased can increase the loads a lot why i'm sure about this because i have made tests uh, in my app and my mobile game sorry and my downloads uh, increased like almost by 50 percent um, uh, so yeah so be sure about making a video the shorter the video the better 
and also in this video you have to summarize uh, the important points of your of your app or mobile game um, be sure add a video this is a must you must do a video and add it the shorter the better um, I want to make a small parenthesis here um, in this channel I'm going to be uploading things about this about app store optimization how much money my game has made well I have already made a video about that so go ahead and watch it um, but I'm going to to make videos about uh, Facebook ads if they work. I'm going to make uh, things like which is the better ad work uh, ad network, Yodo one, ad mob, Unity ad, which one is better. Um, and I'm going to give the revenue that other games that I have published have made. So go ahead, subscribe. I'm sure that you are going to enjoy the content of this this channel. Uh, okay. The final step, step number five, is perform A-B testing. Um, Google Play Store helps you or gives you the option of doing A-B testing, which is basically testing different app icons, different uh, screenshots, different videos. Um, basically, once the experiment is finished, uh, Google Play Store is going to tell you which one may, was better, which one got you more downloads, more user attention, and a lot of statistics and the one with the better statistics is the one that you should keep I have done a lot of testing I have a lot made a lot of this testing and I can tell you that I I, I increased my downloads from 30 downloads the, each day per day to 700 downloads per day yeah that's 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 very dramatically I know and 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 the way I do I did that was doing A/B testing. Do a lot of A/B testing. Never stop doing A/B testing. If you have, if you think that you have found a better idea for the, your app icon or your screenshots, go ahead, try it, and if it works, change to it. And once you finish, go ahead and do another A/B testing. <laughs> A/B testing is very important. Um, and yeah, those are the five steps that I always follow uh, in the same order. To increase the amount of downloads, to yeah, to increase the amount of downloads using ASO. Um, okay, guys, um, that was all for this video. I will recommend you to see this video here, which explains you seven tips to increase the amount of downloads of your game or app on the Google Play Store. Uh, a lot of people have told me that that video has helped them, so go ahead watch it. And once again, uh, I'm going to upload a lot of videos about the mobile uh, development world so you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel that will be very helpful for me and and I'm, I'm sure that you're going to like the video the videos the content of this channel uh, okay thank you so much for seeing this video leave a like if you like it and watch more videos about my channel and subscribe bye